They say all condominiums are built the same. We beg to differ. At DMCI Homes, we pride ourselves on building and developing condominium communities that are a cut above the rest. What exactly makes us different you ask? Here are seven interesting facts. We build and develop our condominiums, with our in-house team of engineers, architects, craftsmen, and skilled workers. You heard it right. As the Philippines' first quadruple a developer, we work with our team of experts and partner subcontractors to deliver our projects on or ahead of time. As builders, we take great pride in our rich engineering pedigree. We build with value, integrity, and quality as espoused by our founder, engineer David M. Konsunhi, known as the grandfather of the Philippine construction industry. Our commitment to quality is signified by our seal of quality. With the guidance of our quality management department, we strive to deliver homes of superior quality and value, nothing less. We're not just builders, we're innovators too. Our building and design expertise allows us to introduce innovations that translate to better products and better value for our customers. Impressive, right? We make our buildings healthy for you. Ever heard of buildings that breathe? With our landscaped atriums and innovations like LumaVent design technology, our condominiums get abundant natural light and airflow, just like how a home should be. We don't scrimp on space. We complement our spacious units with a single loaded corridor layout, landscaped atriums, lush gardens, and expansive amenity spaces. So you can best enjoy resort living in the city. Lastly, we continue to build relationships with our customers even after turnover. Through our dedicated property managers, we provide support to our completed projects to ensure that they remain safe, family-friendly, well-maintained, and responsive to residents' needs through the years. Yes, we are known for our resort-inspired communities, where residents enjoy pools for all ages, big open spaces, and many more exciting treats for the whole family. But on top of all these, we take pride in our skilled workers, our culture of quality, our rich heritage, our building and design expertise, our innovative culture, our well-thought spaces, and our thriving communities. Now.
The megacity is a new form of urbanization. The emergence of megacities brings in economic opportunities, dynamic lifestyle, and enticing careers. At the same time, the swift growth of megacities caused it to be highly dense. It created challenges such as traffic congestion, limited access to nature, poor air and water quality, among others. This urban expansion without sustainable plans leads to constrained living conditions. An average person spends 90% of their time indoor. May it be in school, office, house or any building. With this, building design has an impact on shaping one's health and lifestyle. Some building spaces are too small and densely packed, which lead to a lack of natural lighting and access to natural views. Worse, other structures were built with substandard materials, causing indoor air pollution. Dwelling in a building wherein natural elements are considered during planning and development influences one's living condition. It leads to health benefits, such as improved sleep and mood, lower blood pressure, and increased physical activity. Natural lighting boosts healthy vision and helps fight nearsightedness, eye strain, headache, and depression. Having access to landscape or being surrounded by green spaces has been proven to be stress, mental fatigue, and attention problems. Developing a high-rise building through an innovative and sustainable approach is being seen as a healthy solution. In DMCI Homes, a group of architects, landscape architects, and interior designers meticulously plan and lay out all the natural elements to come up with an efficient and healthy residential development. Biophilic design approach is being practiced to create a seamless connection between our buildings and nature. Our design team is being guided by a 60-40 building to open space ratio. Resort-inspired landscaping is visible in the amenity grounds, garden atrium, sky patio, and sky promenade. Moreover, every unit is designed to have a direct line of sight to exterior windows and balconies. Meanwhile, high-rise buildings have a skylight feature which directs daylight to fill in the garden atrium. DMCI Homes also pioneered the Lumivant design technology, wherein natural light and air permeate the building and the spaces within. Choose a home that is designed and built for a healthy living experience, while maintaining a natural connection to the environment.
Mixed-use neighborhoods became a lifestyle concept in the metro due to the rise of residential communities near or within business and commercial areas. Urban planners, along with real estate developers, understand the value of creating a healthy and livable environment where dwellers can live comfortably, move efficiently, and save time and effort. That is when the future of city living comes in, the transit-oriented development. Transit-oriented development, or TOD, is an urban planning concept that is being practiced in many Western cities like Vancouver and San Francisco. Other Asian countries, such as Hong Kong, Singapore, and Japan have TODs as well. According to TOD.org, transit-oriented development is defined as a creation of compact, walkable, pedestrian-oriented, mixed-use communities centered around high-quality train systems. To further understand what transit-oriented development is, let's take a look at our neighbor, Thailand, and its bustling capital, Bangkok. Since the presence of the BTS SkyTrain, MRTs, and airport rail link, nearby areas slowly developed to become a transit-oriented development. The construction of upscale residential condominiums, office buildings, and commercial establishments led to an influx of people who want to work, shop, dine out, and live within the center of all the action. In the recent report of the Real Estate Information Center, Greater Bangkok is expecting a substantial increase in its land price by the second half of 2021. Areas near mass transit lines rallied the increase. To be specific, land price grew up to two to four times than the value of the overall land price. Real estate business in Thailand is a lucrative choice for investors. Properties along the mass transit lines reported 6 to 8% capital gains in rental yields per year, resulting to a fast return of investment. Real estate activities become more exciting, as the Bangkok government plans to expand its transit system by having a total of 254 stations by 2029. Thus, Thailand will be a big transit-oriented development, banking on its 400-kilometer rail system. Transit-oriented development in Thailand sounds promising, right? How about here, in the Philippines? As a matter of fact, there are already existing TODs in the country. In Quezon City alone, many transit-oriented developments capitalize on the MRT line, with North Avenue, Quezon Avenue, and Cuba stations, and the LRT2 line with stations in Araneta Center and Nonas and Kati Punan. The ongoing construction of Metro Manila Subway is also expected to take part in increasing the land value of transit-oriented developments. Through the Build 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 program of the Philippine government, more infrastructure developments will provide mobility and connectivity. It will soon transform the transportation system, which will translate to long-term comfort and convenience. With significant investments already committed in modernizing and expanding Metro Manila's transport infrastructure, it is already poised to follow in the footsteps of many thriving and sustainable cities around the world. More than increasing land values, TODs are all about enhancing people's lives, health, and well-being. Ultimately, communities and cities stand to reap the benefits of building around integrated transport systems. The future of city living indeed lies in transit-oriented developments.